if we go in the Quran and do a little search we will find some interesting stories we switch to Arabic Look at this verse as an example. Chapter 18, verse number 31. You can read any, you can read any interpretation or the translation you want. And for those who they are the believers, huh, whom garden of their property be beneath which is a river of law. And there, where they will live in this heaven, we will decorate them with the bracelet of gold. I mean, have you ever heard of God promising you a priest of gold? Okay, I have a news for you. Brother and sisters, if you believe in me as a prophet, my God is going to provide you with a bracelet of gold for each one of you. What? This is God? Well, I can get one for $50. What what is that what does that mean exactly? I will get a bracelet of gold. The description of the promises is so stupid and so silly, but it fit with that time because Muhammad is speaking to those poor Bedouin who never wear gold before. Are you serious? I will have a bracelet of gold. There's a hadith about Muhammad. He got a ring after he killed the owner of it, as some story says. And Muhammad keep looking at the ring, keep looking at the ring. And Muhammad then he said, and he noticed people, they are looking at him like, you know, this guy, he looked like he never saw something like this before, you know. So Muhammad, he said, oh, you know what? I'm going to take it off because it's keeping me away from Allah because he felt he got exposed. So Muhammad is promising you that his God promising you a bracelet made from gold and not only that I have a news for you in the heaven all of you you will wear a uniform made from a green silk made in Iran is Tabrak is a kind of silk known made in Iran and the funny the Muslim they say to you the Quran is an Arabic book and the Quran confirmed that but Stabraq is not an Arabic word, is not an Aramaic, is not an Egyptian. It is a Persian word, which is about a name of a kind of a silk. It's called Stabraq. It's like promising you, you will wear Gucci in our time. Imagine God, he sent me a verse and I am a prophet. And I say to you, God today told me that all of you, you are going to wear Gucci. Hey, Tony, Allah, he just speak to me and he told me we will wear Gucci. Yes, uh, brother, you know, can you make some uh, uh, pizza for us? Oh. Gucci? God, the founder, the builder, the creator of this whole huge universe is promising me I will wear a green silk Gucci? Abu Hamza, Abu Hamza, how are you, Abu Hamza? Here we go. We have a Muslim in the text. He called me liar. Liar about what? Guys, I'm liar, lying about what? It's in the front of us in the screen. You see how funny the Muslims? Liar. Look, look, look. He, he just said liar. About what? It's in the screen. I'm lying about what exactly? Tell me. Isn't this your Quran? Hello? Well, it's called the Stabrak. This is Stabrak, is the Gucci of that time. Ah, my Gucci is a lie. The Gucci of your prophet is not a lie, right? Uh, I got the point. Guys, this guy, he have a point here. He's a smart Abdul. He's a prophet promising Gucci of his time, which is called Stabrak. It's not, it's not a lie. But if I promise Gucci at this time, I'm a liar. Why I'm a liar? I can go and order one. Why I'm a liar? I can make it happen. Your prophet could not. He promised you about something in the afterlife. You will wear Gucci. 
I will shave my 20 foot beard if you will ever wear Gucci of Allah. So what kind what kind of God he promised me green silk and I will wear for eternity a green silk. I mean how boring. I can't imagine myself wearing a green clothes. I will look like those in the cartoon what they call them some four what they call them guys. Let me let me I don't know what they call them in English. Hold on. Let me see. In Arabic, they call them Sanafir. It's a it's a cartoon thing. Yeah, I'm talking about those. Sanafir, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> we will be wearing a green. All of us for eternity. I can't change my shirt. I mean, can I get different color for one day? For eternity, I will wearing I will be wearing a bracelet in my hand made of gold. And I will be wearing a green shirt made of silk and made in Iran for eternity. And for eternity, I am going to be sitting reclining on a raised couch i mean why it's raised couch like is that will make you feel better how how raised it is like a five five floor this is god that promised me to sit in a couch if i turn my camera on i will show you show you right now my neighbor he throw his couch and nobody's taking it he have it there outside for three days he put a sign and it says for free your god is a promise in us a couch and we will recline in it I'm glad he told us what we will do with it because uh, I do not know what to do with the couch I mean if not Allah told me how I will know huh and don't forget please in the heaven we will eat a fruit and those fruits we do not need to go to them they come to us what what yes brother you will be sitting in the couch and the fruit they go down to you and this is the lazy Arab huh The Arab are very lazy people. There's a story about a bunch of Arab they want to commit suicide. They ask, "What is the the, the 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 laziest way to commit suicide?" They said, "You throw yourself in the ocean." So they ask a guy to carry them in their in his boat and take them in the middle of the ocean so they can, you know, commit suicide. They are in the middle of the ocean. The guy he said to them, "Okay, we are in the middle of the ocean. Jump." They said, "Can't you make a hole in the boat?" They don't, they don't want to jump. They are lazy. Even committing suicide, they don't want to do it. You know, can't you make a hole in the boat? This is the same story about the hole in the boat of the story of Al Khadr. You remember Al Khadr? The same chapter we are reading from, chapter 18. All right? Chapter 18. If you go to chapter 18 here. You will see a story of a guy his name is Al Khadr and Al Khadr simply he when in his trip uh, you know uh, uh, he found a bunch of guys who offer him a ride with them in their boat so Al Khadr he start making a hole in a boat and Musa said to Al Khadr what what are you doing man are you crazy Al Khadr said to him, I told you, you cannot have patience with me, which means you are stupid. I am wise. I have the wisdom of Allah. It, to make it simple, after a while, when after after the boat, uh, after those guys, like he made a, a hole in the boat, a, 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 a pirate, or let us say a, a king who steal boats came by and uh, he looked at their boat and he found a hole in it, so he decided not to take it. Do you see the wisdom? 
You make a hole in the boat so the guy will not take it, but now you will be drawn. Huh? Any Muslim? Super intelligence religion.